call for a tighter budget, but that shouldn't stop you from pursuing your content creation plans, launching your online business, or even attend classes virtually with the help of a smartphone. Because for a solid price, there are smartphones that can help you do all those things, such as the Realme C25, which is now available here in the Philippines. But before you do add that to your cart, let's check out the pros and cons. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Sas Dumalanta, your Manila Millennial, and as usual, let's start with a quick unboxing. The newly launched Realme C25 comes in this yellow box with a C25 label in front and on the sides. At the back, you'll find its main specs such as 48 megapixel AI triple camera, 6000 milliampere mega battery with quick charge, and the Helio G70 gaming processor. The box seems bigger than the other Realme devices that I've unboxed before, but the look is very much the same. The first layer has a welcome message, and inside you'll find a quick guide written in different languages, information guide, and a jelly case. Underneath that, we have the unit, which is quite big, I must say. It's in this water blue color and the geometric design kind of makes it seem silver-like at certain angles. There's also a Realme logo on the lower left, but it's okay since it's very subtle. The box also comes with a USB Type-C cable and a charger which is almost as big as my palm. Still, I believe that these things are essential in every box. Let's talk about the weight and appearance first. For me, the Realme C25 is a bit big. It's thicker and kind of heavier than the other Realme devices that I've reviewed before. But I believe this is something that you can get used to since you can still type using one hand so it shouldn't be much of a problem. Let's remove the jelly case first so you can see it. If you can hear that, the body is made out of plastic but it feels sturdy enough. The geometric design and the camera setup at the back reminds me of the Realme C11 which is also part of the C series. Even the shade is actually quite similar. At the back, you'll find the rear-mounted fingerprint sensor and the 48 megapixel AI triple camera setup. To be honest, I was kind of expecting a quad camera for this one but let's explore the camera later on. On the right side of the device, you'll find the triple slot SIM tray, two for your nano SIM cards, and one for your micro SD. On the left, you have the volume rocker button and power button, which can also be used to enable your Google Assistant. At the bottom of the device, you'll find the USB Type-C port, speakers, and one of the things I really miss, a port for our audio jack. So most smartphones do not have this already, but I sometimes forget to charge my TWS device so I do rely on wired earphones from time to time. In front is a 6.5 inch HD plus LCD panel with an 88.7% screen to body ratio, big enough for watching videos and even playing games. Plus, the selfie camera is in its usual spot. It's powered by an octa-core MediaTek Helio G70 processor, a common chipset for budget phones, but it runs on Realme UI 2.0 based on Android 11. This is the first C-series to use such in the Philippines. And on top of these, it packs 4GB plus 128GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded to up to 256GB via microSD. What sets the Realme C25 apart from previous C-series models would be its quality 6000 mAh battery with quick charging. It has a super power saving mode which enables multiple battery optimization too. So this much battery capacity is enough for around an entire day of watching videos on YouTube or even around 4 days of non-stop Spotify if you're a music junkie. Although I wouldn't call it the best in class, the Realme C25 can shoot videos, slow-mo clips, and even time-lapse videos for up to 1080p. There are built-in photo filters and other modes too. We have here night mode and 
photo options with up to 10 times zoom if you drag it like this but only the 5 times zoom is viewable from the options. There are also portrait and 48 megapixel modes, but these do not support zooming. While I'm not a fan of its photos taken under low light since it's still a bit grainy, and the portrait mode also kind of blurs my glasses, I do like the output of its 48 megapixel camera and the shots taken under bright lights or during daytime. The Realme C25 also seems promising when it comes to taking videos or even live streaming using the rear camera. The autofocus works well in my experience too. So for its price, I would say that the Realme C25 is a decent option to consider if you're under a tight budget and if you want to save more while maintaining your productivity with the help of a smartphone. It's not wow level, but it is kind of promising considering its price point. But if you need more details about it, just go to Realme's pages or visit manilamillennial.com for the full specs. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to youtube.com slash for more unboxing videos. That's it for today. Thanks for watching!